Hello everyone, welcome back to Gadge Ministries. This is Gadge speaking. I hope you all are doing gloriously well. Thank you to all of my subscribers for returning and reconnecting with me on this video as with the others. And if you're new to the channel, you are welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave and turn on your notification bell so you don't get to miss any of my videos. Today, I've got a prophetic word from God Almighty. Before I get into the word, I'm going to pray a very short prayer and I'm going to go into two scriptures and then I'm going to release this word onto the saints of Christ. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this hour. Thank you for this minute, O oh Lord. This word, O oh Lord, that you've given unto me, help me that I would be able to deliver it, O oh Lord, with grace and with power in the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit. Speak through me, minister through me. I give myself to you. Let this moment bring you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, so in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 11, verse 10 to 12, that's the first scripture, and that says, The land you are entering to take over is not like the land of Egypt from which you have come, where you planted your seed and irrigated it by foot as in a vegetable garden. But the land you are crossing the Jordan to take possession of is a land of mountains and valleys that drinks rain from heaven. It is a land the Lord your God cares for. The eyes of the Lord your God are continually on it from the beginning of the year to its end. Praise the Lord. The next scripture is from the same book, Deuteronomy chapter 20 verse 4. And that says, For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory praise the lord somebody hallelujah so the one i receive from god from our father from our lovely father is this tell the saints it's time to take over tell the saints it is time to take over and then he added this they have the victory they have the victory so if you're a believer in Christ, you're serving God, been waiting on him, trusting in him, believing in him, and just going all out for him, this is your word. You're a child of God, this is this is your word. It is time for you to take over. God says you have the victory. You have the victory. He doesn't want you to be afraid. If this word is for you, you know what it applies to. This could apply to university students. This can apply to people that are in work. This can apply to you with regards to um, your fellowship, um, the church where you're in. I don't know. But the word I received in my spirit during my prayer was this exact word. Tell the saints it's time to take over. It could be in your business or any other area of your life. You just need to take this word to God. And um, check you're in the right season with with regards to what God is doing in your life and pray about it, right? And let the Spirit of God guide you. On that day when I was um, saying my prayers, I kept on, immediately after I finished saying my prayers, all of a sudden in my spirit, I just felt this, um, you know, urgency within my spirit to just keep speaking these words were taking over, were taking over. Repeatedly, I kept on, I kept on saying that. I only just caught myself a few seconds after saying that, like, why do I keep on saying that? And then all of a sudden, God spoke to me and said, tell the saints it's time to take over. Praise God. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's time for we believers, we are in the glory days of the church. This is the time for the people of God to begin to take over territories, right? The land that God has prepared for you is waiting for you. Now, this land can be, you know, like I already mentioned, it could be where you are. It could be in what you're doing. It could be, you know, in the place that God has placed you right spiritually a position something and god is saying it's time to take over god has called a lot of you you know into into ministry do not be afraid to go forth and do what he's asking you to do 
because it is time to take over. It's time to take over and you have his word. So don't be afraid to take the word of God, the power of God and have his Holy Spirit help you into taking over. Because why? He says you have the victory already that he's going to fight for you. So whatever opposition or obstacle is going to try to come in your way, just like the people of Israel went on to take over the land of Cana. They had oppositions, but God was with them, fighting with them. God was with them, fighting for them, for them to receive the land that he desired for them to possess in the end, right? So God is with you. Do not be afraid to go forth and launch on into, you know, doing what God has called you to do or what he's given you. Build it up. Do what you need to do. It is time to take over. No more sitting back and not doing nothing about about your life or your destiny or your purpose, right? It is time to take over. You have the victory. Don't let the enemy deceive you. You have the victory. Don't let him tell you that you're nothing because God says it's time to take over. This is the This is the time for God's people to launch out and take over in various aspects, in different departments, in different areas of life. It is time to take over. Praise God. Father, we just thank you for your word. We give you praise and we give you glory for the ones that this word is for. I pray, O Lord, that the spirit of faith will be stirred up within their hearts and their minds, that they will go forth, O Lord, into taking the necessary steps that they need to, to begin to take over territories, to begin to take over lands, Heavenly Father, to take up those positions, O oh Lord, in whatever area it is that you have called them to take over, Heavenly Father. And I pray that even as they go forth, O oh Lord, your spirit goes forth with them, Heavenly Father, because your word says that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. They are free to go forward to taking over, O oh Lord, what you've called them to possess, O oh Lord. And we thank you that you are fighting for your people, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray I cover you all with the blood of Jesus Christ and I speak God's peace into your heart and your mind in Jesus mighty name I pray Father we thank you in Jesus name hallelujah until next time you all I'll see you in my next video in the meantime remain encouraged and be blessed I love you all speak soon